Alrighty, so I'm gonna be making one of the most simple dog leashes you can make. As you saw in my other video, I made this standard paracord dog leash here. I'm gonna make basically the same thing, but I'm gonna use something like this for the handle to make it a little bit more comfortable. And the good thing about using something like this is you won't have to make the handle, which is one of the most difficult parts. But if you don't have something like this available, you can also use like a rope tied like this. This here is on a dog toy, but you can take a rope and just tie a knot like that and then tie the uh, paracord off right there. So I'm gonna cut this plastic part off and use this handle here. And for a quick bonus, I'm gonna use the other side to make a, a spare leash as well. So that works pretty good. A little bungee cord, I, you know, if you have a dog that tugs a lot, it might make it a little bit easier. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go with the green theme for this one. So I'm gonna use some, uh, this olive green and uh, bright green here. And I got this little bolt snap at Walmart. I believe it was a couple of dollars ago, about a couple of years ago, so I can't remember, but just a two to three bucks. And then I'm gonna measure out about 22 feet of each of these to start out with. And I think that should be more than enough. All right, it looks like I only have about 17 feet of this lighter green so I'm just gonna do 17 feet and 17 feet and it really should be enough because I'm not gonna tie the handle All right, get the fasten off to the carabiner there it's tied off tight with a zip tie so got something to work with and for the length you want the so each of these strands are 17 feet long and you want the middle strands to be about as long as you want the leash to be and that will save you on material so i'm about six foot tall so i'm just going to measure it put to my head about six foot i want to make this part about maybe four or five feet but i'll make it six just to make sure i have enough to take these parts i am off here for the simple knot Pull the line through. And then I'm gonna take the shorter strand, one that's about six feet long, and that's gonna be the middle. And then the longer one's gonna be on the outside. And now I'm just gonna do the same for the other one. And then make sure the short strands are in the middle. See, these are the ones that are about six feet long. 
and then the two long ones are on the outside here. All right, once you got that going, you're ready to start tying it. All right, so I'm gonna start with the right side here. I'm just gonna make a little four. And then take the left one and go through the fishtail and up through the loop and pull it through. And cinch it up. And then you'll have this little vertical line going straight up and down. So we're gonna start from that side, left side. Do the same thing, a little four. And take the other one above and through. And don't cinch it up too tight. You want it a little bit loose. All right, there's the vertical line right there. So we're gonna start on that side. Alrighty, now you can just continue the process down. Alrighty, so that 17 feet on both sides produced about three feet here. So if you want to make it a little bit longer, you could do like 20, I would say like 22 feet on each side would be perfect, but I don't mind it being a little bit shorter. So I got to the end here. I'm going to use the middle strands to tie off the handle and I'm just going to go ahead and cut off these. All right, so to add a little bit of length, I'm just gonna take the tag in through that one there, and this tag in through this one here, and then I'm gonna basically line them up, give myself a little bit of slack here, and I'm gonna use this bear cord to weave it back to the original strand here. So I just wanna add a little bit of length Probably about that much right there. Maybe a little less, just a little bit. Probably about right there. And then I'm gonna start weaving it with these strands on the inside. Oh, I'm just go over like that. Okay. A little bit of a loop, see if that works. Back over this way. Cool. And the dino really care if it doesn't match up. 
but see I got that vertical line there so I'm just gonna work it back until I get, get it real nice and snug with the rest of it Alrighty, and there it is. So let's go ahead and test it out. This grip makes it so much easier to hold her. <laughs> wow, yeah, this works great. She pulls pretty hard, but this handle or this little grip here makes it a lot easier. All right, buddy, one second. Come here.